15 milkshakes. Is it possible? Or has Orlando Informer gone too far? Okay, first up we've got the chocolate banana brain freeze. It is $12. It has vanilla ice cream, banana extract, chocolate covered banana, and ripped cream, and of course, the cherry on top. Here we go. Chocolate banana brain freeze. Oh, that's, it's like a mixture of vanilla and banana, which is probably what you'd expect. It's really good. I don't even like bananas and I, I kind of like it. Shake number two, we are still moving along. Uh, we've got the Marshmallow Crisp. It is $12. It has vanilla ice cream, Rice Krispies, Marshmallow Fluff, fresh whipped cream, and of course the Rice Krispies Tweet on top. Here we go. Marshmallow Crisp. Oh, that's a different texture. So this one's a, it's still really smooth, but it's, it's, um, I like this one. I really like this one. I could have this all day. I might stop now, to be honest with you. This one is the Peanut Indulgence, another $12 shake. It is peanut butter, ice cream, Snickers, Reese's, uh, peanut butter cups, peanuts, and fresh whipped cream. So we've got some Reese's Pieces all around it. I'm excited for this one. Peanut Indulgence. This one's a lot thicker. It tastes just like you're drinking a Reese's peanut butter cup. It is really good. It's another really good one. I actually really want to try. I'll probably do this like high speed, like, <laughs> as like, I yeah. Too. I'm starting to feel it. I'm, I'm getting a little, but it's okay. We've, we've got this. So this one is the strawberry cheesecake. It is $12.50. It has sour cream, ice cream, cheesecake, graham crackers, fresh whipped cream, and a chocolate dipped strawberry on top. Um, it's probably the prettiest one we've had so far, so. Strawberry cheesecake. Oh, that is good. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of strawberries, so maybe I'm a little biased, but I think this might be my favorite so far. And then of course we gotta try the chocolate dipped strawberry. It's beautiful. That is fresh. I wasn't lying, I am really sorry to <laughs> feel it. <laughs> Sleeping maybe? This one has been my favorite so far. This is the brownie milkshake. It has Dutch chocolate ice cream, a brownie um, milk chocolate swirl inside here. It has one brownie on top, one brownie inside. That is a lot of brownie. Brownie. Okay, so this is another one of the really thick ones. Um, so if you're looking for a thicker shake, I would definitely recommend this one. I'm going to try the brownie on top now. That's a good brownie. Wow. I think this still might be my favorite. So this one is bacon brittle. It is $12.50. It has bacon ice cream, uh, bacon brittle on top. It has bacon flavor in it, uh, chocolate covered bacon on top. Um, and bacon caramel. So it is a, a bacon shake, and I am. Bacon brittle. Oh wow, that is much different than I expected. It's got a it's got a bacon taste, but not the way I expected. It's really good. As far as thickness goes, it's about in between the other ones, so it's not too. Thick. Okay, we're gonna try the toppings now. Here we go. 
I'm gonna try the bacon brittle first. I'm just gonna take a bite. It's a nice different kind of taste to the shake. And of course the bacon covered, or bacon, chocolate covered bacon, not bacon covered bacon. The chocolate covered bacon is actually on some of the appetizers here and I really like it on the appetizers as well. Here we go. This is number seven. This is the key lime pie shake. It is $12. It has sour cream, ice cream, uh, sweet condensed milk, lime juice, lime sugar, and lime garnish. I'm gonna give it a shot. Key lime pie. Oh, that's, that's the most refreshing one I've had so far. So if you're visiting on a hot day and you can't choose which one, this is a really good one to start. I say start because I recommend all of them. You should just keep coming back. But Okay, now time to try the key lime pie on top. That's really good key lime pie. Wow. I might have a new favorite, especially, like I said, during the day. This might be the way to go. This is the Cinnamon Fantasy, it's $12. It has Cinnamon Toast Crunch ice cream, Cinnamon Fresh Whipped Cream, and then Cinnamon Toast Crunch all around it. Uh, I've heard amazing things about the shake, so I am ready to try this one. Cinnamon Fantasy. It tastes, it tastes like vanilla ice cream and just slight cinnamon. So I've heard people worried about if it's too cinnamony. I don't think so, I think it's really good. I think it's just like a cinnamon touch on top of like a vanilla shake. Try the top here. There's the cinnamon. So if you're looking for more cinnamon on top, you've got the cinnamon toast crunch with the powdered cinnamon all over. I am almost done. I have five left, including this one. This one is the Heavenly Hazelnut. It has Nutella ice cream hazelnuts, uh, Nutella cocoa powder, and fresh whipped cream on top. It is $12.50. Shake number, I'm losing count now, but here we go. Heavenly Hazelnut. Okay, very chocolatey. Um, it's different from the brownie. It's like a different kind of chocolate. It's more Nutella, obviously, um, but it's, it's really good. I haven't had a shake yet that I don't like, which is amazing. So, and there's some things that like on its own, I don't care for. So I don't really like Nutella, but the shake's really good. Wow. Shake number 10, I feel like I need some kind of confetti or balloons. Uh, this one is the Espresso Buzz. Uh, it is $12.50. Uh, it has coffee, ice cream, espresso, chocolate, espresso beans on top, fresh whipped cream, and then the cherry. Espresso Buzz. That is very coffee-y. Coffee-y. So if you're looking for a shake and you like coffee, a lot, this is the one to go for. I'm gonna try the cherry. I haven't tried the cherries on any of the other ones, so. It's a nice cherry. Shake number 11, the salted dolce de leche. It is $12.50. Uh, it has salted caramel ice cream, salted pretzels, fresh whipped cream, and chocolate cigars on top. It's definitely one of the thicker ones, um, but it's still really good. I'm gonna try one of the pretzels on the outside here. It's a good pretzel. The chocolate really adds to it, but it's not, it's not overbearing. So this is a really nice shake. To some shake number 12. 
This is the Chocolate X5. Uh, it has chocolate ice cream, chocolate chunks, strawberries, chocolate sauce, fresh whipped cream, chocolate spirals, and that's it. I have heard amazing things about this one. Uh, this is another one of the favorites. I'm gonna try the strawberry first this time. Change it up a little bit. Chocolate times five. That is a lot of chocolate. If you love chocolate, this is the shake to get. This is, wow. It is like chocolate heaven. Guys, I almost have tears in my eyes. Uh, this is shake number 13. It's my final shake here today. We've had a lot of fun. We've tried a lot of different shakes. Uh, this is the red velvet one. It's the, one of the most craziest looking ones, that's for sure. Uh, people really love this one. It has two red velvet cupcakes, one on top that you can see. Also another one inside of the shake itself. Uh, it also has vanilla ice cream, raspberry sauce, rainbow sprinkles, fresh whipped cream, and then a, a cherry on top. It is 12.50. Here we go, my last one. Red Velvet. That's great. So if you like Red Velvet anything, this is the shake to go to. Okay guys, I thought it was over. I have been challenged to try the top of the red velvet cake uh, shake because why not? I've gotten this far. What could possibly go wrong? That might be the best red velvet cupcake I've ever had. I'm uh, glad I was challenged to try it. Time for my top three shakes at Tucson Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen at Universal Orlando City Walk. Number three is the Strawberry Cheesecake. I really like this one. Uh, it is, as far as thickness goes, it's in between these two, um, but it is just really good. I'm a big cheesecake fan. I'm a big strawberry fan. So Strawberry Cheesecake was just the way to go for me. Number three right here. Third place is Strawberry Cheesecake. Number two, the brownie shake. This was my favorite. I hadn't tried this one yet, but uh, this is a really, really good shake at Tucson. Uh, you've got the brownie inside, you've got the brownie on top, you've got chocolate. It's not too much chocolate. A lot of the other ones, there was, there was just a lot of chocolate, and I like some chocolate, but not too much, so this was a good kind of in-between. Um, really good shake. Second place is brownie. And finally, the number one, my favorite shake here at Tucson Chocolate Emporium is the key lime pie shake. Uh, you've got the key lime pie on top, you've got the key lime garnish, and then this is just like, again, really refreshing. Um, this is the one that if you're visiting during the day, you're planning on going back in the parks, so this is the one I recommend. Um, it is... First place is key lime pie. Amazing. There you have it. Tucson Chocolate Emporium. I'm gonna go take a nap. Thanks for watching everybody. See you later. Share this with a friend that you can't wait to try a Tootsome Milkshake with. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. For more information on Tootsome Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen, or to see hundreds of other free pages on Universal Orlando, visit orlandoinformer.com. Don't forget to like Orlando Informer on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram.